Now to the controversy over congestion pricing in New York. How much will it cost commuters? That's the big debate. But there's something even more powerful behind all that. At the core of this controversy is making the biggest city in the country make a big change, relying less on cars and more on public transportation, which begs the question, do we have nearly enough public transportation for that to work? Here's Iowa's News reporter, N.J. Burkett. Can't do that. I'm an elevator mechanic. There's no choice but to come into the city. For many drivers, mass transit just won't work. They'll take their cars to Manhattan no matter what. Where I work in Queens, there's no mass transit. There's no easy way. There are entire neighborhoods outside of Manhattan where transit is inconvenient or non-existent. These are the bus routes in northeastern Queens, and these are the bus routes in South Brooklyn, where some residents could walk up to half a mile to get on board. And once they do, they're in for a very long ride. It's absolutely foolhardy. It is what I described it as. It's moronic. John Samuelson was on the MTA's advisory board that recommended the congestion pricing structure this week until he abruptly resigned in frustration. This is still well terminal. If you go a couple of miles in each direction through southern Brooklyn, you see areas that are, that are not served well by public transit. Samuelson says MTA leadership is elitist and out of touch with working New Yorkers who live outside Manhattan. You just don't whip them and say, you're going to get hit with a toll and, and expect them to stuff themselves into the existing um, subway and bus system. He supports congestion pricing, but insists the transit system isn't ready. I would have loved to have seen massive investment in increasing the hours of existing express bus service, new identified new express bus routes that would have encouraged people to get out of their cars. John Samuelson's opposition doesn't make sense, said MTA's John McCarthy. There's more than enough capacity on subways and buses, including express buses that are running at only 40% of capacity in rush hours and much emptier at other times of the day. End quote. Samuelson insists that the MTA should expand transit access dramatically before even a single congestion pricing toll is collected, adding it's not too late.